Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, January the 13th. It's a cold and gloomy day in Toronto here. What I'm looking at um, is Whisper. I'm going to be using my hack RF1 to transmit Whisper signals. So basically the setup will be um, I'm going to use a WSJTX Whisper and it will transmit its audio to uh, GNU radio and here I've got a USB transmitter here for uh, the whisper signal so the signal source will come in here right now I've got it set up for a uh, test tone just to make sure it's working so the WSJT whisper will feed the USB um, and that'll go into the hack RF and then the hack RF will transmit on a whip antenna and then it'll be received since the hack RF is simplex I can't receive at the same time I'm going to go into another whip antenna into an RTL SDR with a Hammett up converter. I'm going to be operating on 14.0956, which is the 20 meter whisper frequency. And that'll be received uh, since I don't want to use another laptop. Uh, I've got uh, Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu 2204 running on this laptop. So basically, I'll be receiving the RTL there. It'll go into the USB receiver, and the output of the audio will feed. Um, WSJTX Whisper um, on the uh, Ubuntu laptop. So right now on the transmit end, actually what I'm doing is I don't have the antenna connected. I'm feeding into the spectrum analyzer just to do a test. Let's just quickly look at the test here. So there's to, there's to show you the USB test. My center frequency is the 20 meter uh, frequency, 14.0956. There's my USB tone. It's around, let's say, minus 40. The um, carrier is about at least, f let's say, about 45 dB down. So it's knocked down quite a bit. And the uh, lower sideband, the other sideband, is down by about, let's say, uh, 35 dB. Uh, if you wanted to increase these numbers and depress them even more, you could use a, a longer uh, filter for the Hilbert transform. So that's basically what I'm doing on the transmit end. And what I'll do is I'm going to connect the antenna to the hack RF, and then we'll go over to Camtasia, and we'll look at the uh, complete transmission. Okay, so right now I'm using a test tone just to make sure that uh, we have continuity here. So on the transmit end, I'm using the hack RF as a transmitter, and I'm sending a one kilohertz tone into the USB uh, circuit here, and that feeds the hack RF. And then on the receive end, I'm using a virtual machine with Ubuntu 2204 and right now I'm just checking on GQRX to see if I can receive that tone. So uh, the GQRX is running at, uh, I have to up convert, or I have to up, up the frequency by 125 megahertz because I'm using the up converter for the RTL. So 14.0956 added to 125 is 139.0956 which is right there. So we can see our one kilohertz tone. So that's coming in. So the next thing I have to do is I have to take this tone and I have to get it into uh, WSJTX. So I'm going to use um, pseudo mod probe send a loop to loop back the output of the sound card into the input. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, so now we're transmitting. This is the baseband and this is the USB. That's our uh, uh, whisper signal. This is um, this is a schematic we're using here. We're using the audio source from whisper. Let's go to the receive end. And there's our signal at 1500 we're receiving. And let's see if we get a decode here. Okay, so now we've got a reception here um, at UTC 1746. What I had to do um, is I had to adjust, this was set up for 095.6, I had to adjust the frequency, so I put the tone right in the middle of uh, the band from 1400 to 1600. So right now it's sitting around uh, just below 1500. Before it was over here and I wasn't getting receive. So I just adjusted the receiver, uh, tuned it there so it's right in the band. Uh, it's transmitting again, let's see if I get another decode. So it's working, which is great. Just about to get uh, another decode here. Uh, I'm not using, right now, I'm not using um, 
uh, GNU radio on the receive end. I'm just using GQRX just because it's faster. It's faster. I'll do that next. Okay, so we got another decode there, so that's working well. Okay, so let's uh, let's try a, a GNU radio on the SSB receive. Okay, so we started transmitting on the transmit side. Let's look at the receive side. So we're using, uh, instead of GQRX, I'm using the uh, GNU radio SSB receiver. And let's just look at, we've got the gain up at 30 dB. There's our tones. And let's see um, if the tones are falling in the receive area that we want. Looks like uh, they're not. So I'm going to have to lower the frequency here a little bit. Okay, so it looks like I've adjusted the frequency down from 96 to 95300, and the tone is right where we want it. So um, that's the tuning aspect of this, and let's just see if we'll get a decode here. I'll have to move to. Uh, there we go. So we've tuned it, so it's right in the middle of the um, receive area here at 1500. And we'll just wait and see. Uh, volume level looks like it's okay. We'll just see if we get a decode. Okay, so there we've got a successful decode. So what we've done then on the receive end is we uh, tested the continuity with a one kilohertz tone. Then we put on WSJTX Whisper and we decoded it with GQRX and then we used the GNU radio SSB receiver to do the same thing. So, success. So it looks like using the hack RF1, you could use that as a whisper uh, transmitter. Uh, on my particular unit, uh, I can only produce minus 20 dBm because the final amplifier there is either not there or it's not working. So the specs say that um, the unit should give at least 5 dBm. So with an LNA on that, you probably have enough power to do some successful whispering.